I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive. Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Are you ready for this? Boss, this is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the Sock. Mission Control, do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the Earth.
Sir. Here it is. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. So, Glov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. 
There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohot to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy, who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volkin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? 
My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <coughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this!
I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> been talking to he doesn't know what you're talking about you'd better start talking please stop this <laughs> <laughs> 